So I've talked to you about the continental grip and how important it is. Now we're going to show, some ways, show you some ways you can practice that or how you can begin to feel how you can get increased racket head speed because of the continental grip. As we mentioned, it's on bevel two, not the top bevel, not the side, but the one in between. That's called the position of the first knuckle going there and the heel of the hand on the same bevel. So that gives you your continental grip. But it feels kind of strange if you haven't used it a lot. But it's, like I said, it's very important as far as your racket head speed when you're making the serve. So the grip feels almost like I'm going to with the hammer and nail in the wall. Now the way I can kind of practice that is if I toss the ball up and serve it off the edge of my racket, just to get a feel of bringing my racket forward into the shot. But how do I increase the racket head speed? As I come up, instead of hitting it on edge, the forearm pronates. That's what creates the illusion of a wrist snap. It's actually the forearm turning. At the end of the swing, I see a wrist snap, and that people try to create that during the serve. It's actually part of the motion getting up to the ball. The wrist snap actually occurs as a result of actually pronating. So it looks like this. I brought the racket up, and I pronate the racket as I come through, which allows me to, to accelerate the racket faster than my hand. So we've talked about this continental grip, but if you haven't used it before, it, it's a little strange because your hand doesn't feel comfortable in that position. And we know how we all relate to, well, it doesn't feel natural. Well, whatever you practice becomes natural for you. But I find that when I serve, though, my grip keeps going back to where it feels comfortable. And I don't even know it sometimes. It kind of like happens. I'll be starting my serve with a continental grip I go in, and somehow when I finish it, it comes out with a forehand grip. Here's a tip that you can use to make sure the continental grip stays continental during the swing. As you get your continental grip, if you put your thumb on your middle finger, that locks the thumb, the thumb locks the finger down, which doesn't allow you to rotate your grip to change the grip. So when you have problems with changing the grip, and it feels awkward because you want to find your forehand grip, get your secure grip first, thumb on the finger. But once again, it's a light pressure, it's not tight. So once I've got my grip secure, I'm going to find it's going to probably stay there. Now, how long do I have to practice this? Well, until you start to feel like you can handle that grip, because it will be very important to the speed of your first serve. 